Hello guys, welcome to my first video taking a look at this much anticipated game called Banished. I'm really excited um, to play this. Glad you can watch and enjoy it with me. I've been following the uh, the progress of this game from Shining Rock Software um, for what seems like months and months and months. And uh, Luke from Shining Rock Software has very kindly given me the release candidate three to have a play with and to release some videos for you guys to enjoy and learn some more about the game. Because I don't know about you guys, but every time somebody releases a video of this game, I think the last one I saw was about an hour long. Um, I just watch it because it, it's such a good looking game. I've learned so much about it from the blogs that Luke's been putting up as well. So, And following Reddit, I always read all the information on Reddit as well. Well, now I've finally got my hands on it. I've literally just loaded it up. Um, I've gone through some of the options, changed a few things. Um, so I've just noticed you might want to change yourself. It's some keys here. All of these are set to none when you first start the game. So you can set those up how you would like to play. I should have a quick look through, got a oh, nice long list of achievements. Reach population of 300, 600, 900. Educate 200 adults for four years. Uneducated, <laughs> without schools. Jack of all trade, a town of 200 people. Wow, there's so much in here. I'll just scroll down so you guys can if you want to pause the video and read through these yourself, I know some of you will. Um, <clears throat> I'll probably go through all of these off camera and read them myself just to get in my head all the different ones they are. Two miners, wow, there's going to be so much we can do with this game. Golden Gate, build a bridge that is at least 50 units long. There we go, almost to the end. So you guys can read through those, pause the video take them all in and be excited by them as well so first of all we are going to run through the tutorials we have four different tutorials here and then what i try and do after that is start a game straight away and get that up hopefully not long after this video so we can get stuck into a game as well so we have getting started learn the basics of the game including camera movement constructing basic buildings assigning workers to jobs and starting a new town then survival learn to build buildings that produce goods that can help increase chances that says changes of survival that should be chances such as blacksmiths tailors and foresters food production learn to produce food from fishing hunting gathering farming crops growing fruit trees and raising livestock and then finally trade learn how to trade produce goods for new crop seeds orchard seeds, livestock, food tools and other resources. Oh, very good. So let's just have, I would have a sip of tea while I'm playing. There we go. You've watched my videos before, you know, everything's tea powered. Let's get started. Oh, loving the music as well. The game looks amazing. Right. Welcome to Banished. In this game, you control a group of exiled travellers who decide to restart their lives in a new land. You'll have to help them survive. Press the next button to continue. At any time during the tutorial, you can access the options by pressing this key down here or none. So we haven't set anything for that. Oh, we can zoom in and out with the, the scroll wheel. And I've set my W, S, A and D to do that. And Q and E to do that. Yeah, good, good, good. So let's do that. Aha, there we go. Resume and next. Get familiar. You can move the cameras by pressing these keys. Well, I've set those. Or we'll move the mouse to the edge of the screen. Good. Try it now. I just did. And you can rotate by pressing those. I'm assuming if I hadn't set, they would be none. So you'd have to come down into your options and set those. You can rotate the view by holding the middle mouse button. Oh yeah, okay, well that's good to know as well. Zoom the camera in and out by pressing... What would be handy is if you could just click this and set them, but you can go to your options, so that's fine. Oh look, starting to rain. What do these guys think of that? <laughs> Not so happy. Change the pitch. I don't have a pitch key set. Let's just go into options. 
rotate pitch. Is it easy to set the pitch key? Menu, rotate, view, in, out, look up, down, look up, look, look down. I bet that's that. I'm going to have those keys. There we go. That'll be the pitch. All the keys are configurable in there. That's good. Now you're familiar. Let's start playing. The people will need three things to survive. Shelter, food, and a way to keep warm in the winter. They're all just wandering around at the moment. We we'll notice some people have this icon above their heads. I have noticed that. They all have it. That means they don't have a place to live. Oh, poor little folks. Let's do that. Housing menu. Select the wooden house. We've got stone and boarding house. What can we see here? Wooden house. We need a certain amount of wood and another commodity we don't know yet. Use the mouse and place it here. Okay. It will leave a footprint where it will be built. To get the townsfolk to start construction, I have to collect wood and stone. Ah, oh, there we go. Cut down trees and remove rocks from the landscape by using the destruction tool. Start by pressing this. Remove resources. Okay. Let's drag and select here. So we have stone and wood. The townsfolk will head to that area and start removing rocks and trees. While they're busy, you can place a stockpile. They can put store logs, stone, iron and firewood. Okay. So what key was that? Storage. Stockpile. That's nicely marked out an area for us. So these guys are busy. I'll get in there and have a look what he's doing. Well, he's just standing there. Oh, here we go, look. Chopping down and removing and carrying. Cool, okay. Stockpile's not made yet. They will move the harvested rocks and trees to the stockpile. Once there are materials in the stockpile, the people will move logs and stone to construction locations. While any townsperson can cut down a tree or move materials from one place to another, some jobs require specialised workers. In the case of construction, you need to assign builders. Okay. So let's select a profession. And we need to up our builders by one. Oh, look, our labourers changes. There we go. We could type it in. What do I need to... Two. Oh, right, okay. I think we can move. Yeah, you know, we can move these windows around. I'm playing in 1280 by 720, just so you guys can read the screen a bit better. It's not giving me much screen estate to play with, so I may, I may adjust that and try in 1080p. But we'll do this for now. So, just one house isn't enough. You'll need three more houses to give the other families a place to live. Once again, click on the housing tool. Okay, I'm going to have another wooden house. How can we rotate it? Using the mouse, move the house to the highlighted area and press the left mouse button. I need to rotate it. Can I do that with my mouse at all? I can't. Okay, so I need to set a key for that. Rotate structure... Well, I don't think I'm going to use the up and down, so we'll go for that and that. And that can be set to... Can I just delete that one? No. Ooh, okay. <laughs> we'll apply that. Resume. So, let's see. Let's face that this way. Oh, okay. We're going to face that one that way and that one that way as well. Sometimes it takes a while for the people to do all the jobs that you have assigned. If you're in a hurry, you can change the speed the game runs at. Okay, so look at the stockpile. We are building up the wood. So let's change the time. What can we do here? Press the fast forward button twice to increase the game to five times. Oh, there we go, look. We've also got this cart here. Not quite sure what that's for. Oh, look, there we go. 
They're soaring away, they're starting to build. Slow down, pause, rewind. Play. Okay, let's speed this up. Once all the houses are done, it will continue. So let's get these guys who's in the way. Just slow that down a little bit and watch what they're doing. Oh, these are, I love the models on these houses as well. Looking really nice. Let's have a quick look around this map while... This is quite a large map, isn't it? There's... That goes all the way down to there. I'm not sure you could build much on this. Although this is only a tutorial, so we're probably not going to continue on this map, I'd imagine. Let's see. Oh, there we go. The houses are going up well. Let's back, whack it up to ten again. Man, that is one dreary place to live. So I sort of think this is set maybe in medieval times or something like that. That's oh, what's that? You built houses for all the townsfolk. All well, these obviously mean something. That may have seemed a lot of work for a few houses, but now you know how to build anything. To build any structure, place a building footprint. The citizens will clear the area and collect enough resources to build the structure. As long as there are citizens assigned to build, they'll take care of the rest. Cool, look. There we go. And I think that's probably saying they're cold and hungry. Maybe. Aha, the people are going to need food, otherwise they will starve. They can acquire food in a variety of ways. They can hunt, gather, fish, plant crops, grow orchards, or raise livestock. Well, we've seen animals around here, although they seem to have disappeared <laughs> now that it's raining. What are these guys here doing? Just wandering around. If the people are close to starving, the hunger icon... Oh, grief, we better get on. Don't want to lose anybody. Easiest way to generate food, build a fishing dock. Select food production and select fishing dock. Let's rotate that. What do we need to do here? Most buildings produce food, require workers. You can assign fishermen. Ah, okay. Assign jobs, fishermen. How many do we have? One, two, three, four it wants. Okay. You may notice this icon above the head of some of your citizens. I do. Take this guy. Guy, is that a guy. A woman, possibly, in a skirt. <laughs> this means that you've just assigned they don't have a place to work. Uh, as soon as the dots complete, they'll start working. Well, that makes perfect sense. You want somewhere to live, do you, buddy? Oh, look, there we go. Look, here's the, here's the animals. Any window in the game can be moved and closed. There we go. Use the time tools. That sounds fair enough. Let's speed up and watch these guys here working away. Just looking at all the detail in the in the graphics. Really, really good. Now this guy, Luke, who's made this game, has made it totally by himself. Um, I think he's had a bit of help, someone's done some of the music for him, but apart from that, he's coded the whole thing um, from scratch. Absolutely amazing. So what do we have here? Build roads. People will move slightly faster as they move from place to place. Place roads by first selecting roads and bridges. Okay. Select dirt road. And we're going to put that round here, are we? Let's rotate the camera. We're going to start that here. How far do we want to go with that? So I'm, I can actually rotate the screen. And it still lets me carry on doing that. So that is good. There we go. So we've, we've got the dirt road in. That was easy. The same builders that construct buildings will prepare the road for use. After they perform construction, the townsfolk will move faster when travelling on roads. As the town grows and workers produce food and other resources, useful to see an overview. Oh, an overview tool, okay. General statistics. 
What do we have here in Newsbury? The amount of stored construction materials, food, firewood, clothing and tools. See the current population. Average health, which is the heart, and happiness, which is the stars, as well as the current weather. So what have we got? Early summer, number of years, one. Adult students, children. So 11 adults, five children. Where are the children? He looks a bit younger, that chappy there. Yep, okay. Current weather. So raining and pretty cold. One without a job, three without homes. Nope, he's got his job. That means we've finished the dock. Excellent. Is he fishing? He is fishing as well, look. They're both fishing. Excellent. Uh, what's this? Stored logs. Stored firewood, food, stone, coal, medicine, iron, tools, clothes, and alcohol. Ooh, let's put that up there. When food and other consumables goods are produced, they need to be stored somewhere until no place and everything in the cart. Ah oh, yes, that's what it was for. I did wonder. Oh yes, look. Place a storage barn. Okay, so storage, markets and trade. Storage barn. Oh, here we go. Is that the right way round? I see that looks like it should be the right way round. Oh no, the arrows are facing the wrong way. Okay. There we go. Oh, I see. So the arrows are which way? Yep, okay, that makes sense. Which way it's facing so we can hit the road. You can see there aren't enough logs left to build the storage barn. How many did I need? 48 and 16. Cut down more trees. Okay. Harvest trees. Let's grab all of those. They need to stay warm in the winter. The easiest way is to cut logs into firewood. To do this, you'll need a place for a woodcutter to work. Right, resource production. Woodcutter. Let's face him forward. So let's look at the arrows on there. Yeah, we can see the green point at the screen in my finger, but you can see the arrows facing forward. So we want those there. The reserve of logs is low, okay. If they're going to freeze to death, this icon, yes, we've seen that. Some of these guys are unhappy about that. Overly cold, they will return home or go to the closest warm building they can find. It will also appear over homes that don't have any firewood for heating. Well, this guy is going to sort that out, the woodcutter. What can we see on the tooltip? It says woodcutter none. Is that... what's the nun? Doesn't say, does it? Or is that just the fact that we don't have that building yet? Let's carry on and see. Let's speed this up and wait for the barn and the woodcutter. Oh, I can't click on anything, any of these while we're in the tutorial. Okay. There we go, collecting the wood. So we can see the trees that are marked as well for removal, which is very handy. They are running like mad over here. Let's speed this up to 10. Oh, got the footings, foundations, and walls in. Love the music in this as well. Really sort of nice and calm and relaxing, fits in with the the mood of what's going on. Oh, here we go. They are raising a barn. <laughs> Running like mad ants. Out of stored food. Twenty-three. Okay, so they're not doing too bad with the food. I wonder if they just stay there fishing all day. I know there's the option to follow guys around. Guys or girls, whoever we choose. 
and see what they do all day. Well, we'll get to that option once we get into the game. Oh, here we go. You can always assign workers by using the professions tool, but you can also change the number of workers when examining the details of a structure. Click on the woodcutter building. Here we go. Assign one woodcutter. I think we can pin that as well. Fuel limit. Enable or disable production. A worker will now start producing firewood. He or she will move logs and stockpiles of the building and cut them into firewood. The rest of the townsfolk will use the firewood. Ah, oh, see, so the fuel limit controls the amount of stored fuel. Ah, oh, right, okay, so we can see how much we want to keep in stock. That's good. Now the storage barn is built. The cart that the people arrive with is no longer needed. You can rem remove it and anything else using the destruction tools. Okay. Oh, I see what the nun is. That's if I've got a key assigned to that, isn't it? I see. I understand. Uh, okay, I'm taking it. It's not going to destroy what I've got in it. <laughs> they will now remove the inventory. Ah, there we go. And then move it into the storage barn. These are clever guys, you know. Let's use the time tools. Skip forward. They're happy. They're five stars happy, my guys, in Newsbury. I want to change the name. With some maintenance and a little luck, a small town like this will survive for many years. The children will grow up, become workers, and have children of their own. New houses can be built, and the town can continue to expand. If at any point you need help with something in the game, or a description of how a building or tool works, you can refer to the in-game help. Press that, press this... Oh look, uh, this is what Luke's been working on the past few weeks. He said he was, um, the game was all ready, but he was working on the, the tutorials that we're doing now. Another sip of tea, and also the in-game help files as well. So that is going to give me some good reading <laughs> to go through that. You can read some of this or press next to play the next tutorial. It focuses on resource production and survival. Press quit to return to the main menu. Let's press... Can I just do next and go straight to that? Let's try the next one and see what this is. Tutorial. As a town grows, oh, we have a much larger town now. Additional specialised buildings can help make survival easier. We're going to build work areas for blacksmiths, tailors, herbalists and foresters. Okay, first place a blacksmith. The blacksmith is used to make tools for the citizens to work with. So let's resource production, blacksmith, rotate and place him there. There we go, and we'll speed this up. So how's it looking? We have logs, firewood, 360. What other buildings? So is this, yeah, this is the same what we had to start with, isn't it? We've got our barn. Our wood working guy here. Oh, a tailor. Let's just select tailor. Okay, let's turn that around. Oh, and a herbalist. Let's turn that around against that road there. Oh, so we've got roads going right out. Oh, a forest says large plant new saplings cut down mature trees. I forgot to read that <laughs> what the other things did. Whoops. Oh, look at that. You can see the highlighted area. Okay. So we take that and stick it in. Assign workers. Professions. So we want a blacksmith, a tailor, a herbalist, and a forester. Two foresters, three foresters. Okay, the blacksmiths isn't complete. So let us speed things up. Oh, we need tools to efficiently do their jobs. If a citizen doesn't have a tool, the following icon will appear above his head. Tools eventually wear out and need to be replaced. Okay. Click on the blacksmith. 
what have we got here? The blacksmith will use logs and iron to make new tools. Here you can see the inventory and what the blacksmith has in storage. Oh, four iron. If you run out, you won't be able to make. Control the type of item. Iron tool. Oh, steel tool as well. Okay. 50 tools limit. Work, don't work. Okay, good. Control how many tools, yep, yeah, we've seen that. If the building isn't producing goods, because the limit has been hit, the limit icon will appear. Look like this one here. Enable and disable, yep. Yeah. Change what they're going to do. Still last longer. Click on the tailor. Okay, let's have a look. So hide coat, wool coat, warm coat. He's got leather in stock. They stay warm by returning to homes. The workers ward off cold and stay outside longer with better clothing. Well, that makes sense. It's raining a lot and the weather is getting colder. It's early summer. Yeah, I suppose that's winter's coming on. You want to make sure you keep an eye on that. Use leather or wool to make clothes or a combination of both. We run out of materials, they can't work, and we have this icon. Okay. Where's the herbalist? Oh, look at that. Lovely garden. Very nice. Herb limit 100. Collect herbs from the surrounding forest and will help the townsfolk stay healthy. A yellow circle on the ground around the building shows the area the herbalist will search for herbs. There we go, look, we can see that there. Cool. Citizens need a variety of food, such as meat, vegetables, fruit and grains. If the townsfolk are not healthy, they are more prone to disease. Herbs collected by the herbalist can be used to help keep the townsfolk healthy if their diet is poor. It done off blooming rain a lot, doesn't it? Good grief. Herbs usually only grow near old trees. This is something to keep in mind when you place an herbalist building. A herbalist building. Right. Click on the Forester's Lodge. Aha. Rather than constantly clearing areas of trees to produce firewood, the workers at Forester Lodge will manage the forest for you. Workers will plant new trees and cut down old trees in an area around the building. That is good. The yellow circle is the area he covers. That's nice and big. Enable and disable the cutting or planting of trees. When cutting disabled, no trees will be cut down. Well, that makes sense. Enable and disable planting. When planting is disabled, disabled, no new saplings will be planted around the building. They will also remove rock and ore that is in their way. By using these buildings, you can help make sure the citizens have tools, warm clothes for the winter, good health, and replenishable forests. Press next to play the next tutorial focused on food production. Press quit to return to the main menu. Well, I think that will have to be the end of this first episode. We've covered getting started and survival. I think the next episode will cover food production and trade. So, guys, Thank you very much for watching. I'm really enjoying going through the tutorials even before we've even started the game proper. Leave a like if you enjoyed the episode and any comments and feedback that you have as well. And I'll try and get the next episode up as soon as possible for you to enjoy. Guys, thank you for watching. My name's Biffa. I will see you next time. Take care.